Bestbookbits.com presents 50 Words to Your Dreams, Chapter 10, Ideas. Do you want to know how to manifest your dreams? Do you want to know the simple, straightforward, no bullshit path to take your dream out of your head into reality? This 50-chapter video series titled 50 Words to Your Dreams has the answers. Researched for over 10 years and compiled into video, written, and audio format for easy consumption, this series will empower you with the know-how and tools you need to manifest your dreams into reality. Created by myself, Michael George Knight, the creator of the YouTube channel Best Book Bits and the website bestbookbits.com, this series is a wealth of knowledge condensed down into 50 bite-sized pieces. So without further ado, I bring you chapter 10 of 50 of the series, 50 Words to Your Dreams, Ideas. An idea is a thought that is generated in the mind. An idea can be generated with intent, but can also be created unintentionally. Hence the saying, the idea just popped in my head. Ideas are a form of magic, an invisible, mysterious thought that comes out of nowhere that has the potential to make itself visible through the application of action. Most actions precede thought, and most thought precedes an idea first, generated by the mind. Your imagination is an invisible factory. Ideas come out of the blue anytime and anywhere. The problem is that 99% of the ideas you have don't make it out of your head onto paper. To overcome this, I recommend you use your memo notes section in your phone to capture the ideas that come to you, then convert these notes into your daily journal. By starting this new habit of idea capturing, you'll be surprised how many ideas come to you that if acted upon would change your life for the better. Build an idea list in your journal so you can add all ideas that come to you, then later you can take the time to study the list and see what is worth acting upon and what is not worth the time pursuing. With the passing of time, looking back at your old ideas with present-day knowledge, you will clearly see which ideas were good and not so good. Ideas to goals. Once you've established a new habit of idea capturing and using the journal to make your idea list, it's time to see what ideas you should pursue. Only a small percentage of these ideas on your list will be worth pursuing further with time and action. Weigh the ideas and thoroughly think about which ideas you would like to manifest and turn them into goals. All goals are first a thought, and ideas are just passing thoughts by in the mind. It's the ideas that you capture, keep, nurture, nourish, and take action on that really count. I can tell you from personal experience that only a handful of the hundreds of ideas I have had over time have really counted because of the time, energy, and action I have put into them. You only have a set amount of time and energy you can dedicate to ideas. Better take the time to decide which ideas you want to turn into goals and manifest into reality. Imagine if, imagine if all your ideas came true in your life. What would you think of? What would you dream of? What would you do? Who would you be? What would you see? Imagine if all you wanted came true in your life. The reason I ask these questions to you is to get your imagination working. Albert Einstein famously said, imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world. Stimulating progress, giving birth to evolution. Your mind is a muscle that pumps out ideas when in use. To build the muscle requires work, repetition and time, just like most things in life. The same goes for the idea factory you own between your ears, the mind. Learn to stimulate and feed the mind with the new, to generate new ideas and new thoughts. Start using your imagination to create the future you dream about and imagine yourself living out the life you desire. Let your imagination run wild and imagine if. Quotes on ideas. All achievement, all earned riches have their beginning in an idea. An idea is an impulse of thought which impels action by appeal to the imagination. Any revolutionary who underestimates the material power of ideas is certain to fail. In our period of history, it is proved stronger than the power of material poverty. Anyone who lives within their means suffers from a lack of imagination. As we reach successive plateaus in life, we begin to imagine ourselves reaching the next one. And that's our imagination. It leads us from one idea to another through every day and every year of our lives. Average people have great ideas. Legends have great execution. Belief is the power of ideas to make a new world. Believe in what you are doing. If you've got an idea that's really powerful, you've just got to ignore the people who tell you it won't work and hire people who embrace your vision. By a full and powerful imagination, anything can be brought into concrete form. Capture when you find a good idea, capture it. Don't trust your memory. Write it down, record it. Don't you have much more faith in ideas that you discover for yourself 
then in ideas that are handed to you on a silver platter. Every achievement in this world was first projected as a creative idea. First the idea, then faith in it, then the means of implementing the idea. That is the way success proceeds. Every time one man puts an idea across, he finds 10 men who thought of it before he did, but they only thought of it. There has never been a monopoly when it comes to getting good ideas, but the number of people who would take the raw material of a good idea and from it, fashion reality in the world is small indeed. First comes thought, then organization of that thoughts into ideas and plans, then transformation of those plans into reality. The beginning, as you will observe, is in your imagination. Get your ideas on paper and study them. Don't let them go to waste. Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Small minds discuss people. Here's what's exciting about sharing ideas with others. If you share a new idea with 10 people, they get to hear it once, and you get to hear it 10 times. How to turn nothing into something. First, imagine the possibilities. Imagination is the first step in the miracle of possibilities. Reality first starts with imagination. The next step is is to imagine some of the possibilities are possible for you. We call this faith. The third step is to deposit your imagination and faith into high activity. Discipline activity, skillful disciplines. Activity finishes the miracle process of turning nothing into something. I paint objects as I think them, not as I see them. Ideas are cheap, it's the execution that makes you rich. Ideas are free, yet they're the most valuable commodities known to man and great ideas enable the mind that conceives them. Ideas are intangible forces, but they have more power than their physical brains that give birth to them. Ideas are not reserved for those that hope. They're not reserved for those that complain. Good ideas are reserved for those that search. Ideas are worthless unless we act on them. Ideas can be life-changing. Sometimes all you need to open the door is just one more good idea. Ideas come from space. This may seem astonishing and impossible to believe, but it is true. Ideas come from out of space. Ideas don't come out fully formed. They only become clear as you work on them. You just have to get started. Ideas with much less merit have been the seedlings from which great fortunes have grown. If we live out of our memory, we're tied to the past and to that which is finite. When we live out of imagination, we're tied to that which is infinite. If you have a single powerful purpose, you will have the courage to act on your ideas. If you need violence to enforce your ideas, your ideas are worthless. Imagination grows by exercise and, contrary to common belief, is more powerful in the mature than in the young. Imagination has brought mankind through the dark ages to its present state of civilization. Imagination led Columbus to discover America. Imagination led Franklin to discover electricity. Imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. Imagination is intelligence having fun. Imagination rules the world. Imagination Unleashed provides us a sense of certainty and vision that goes far beyond the limitations of the past. Imagination will often carry us to worlds that never were, but without it, we go nowhere. Imagination, like anything else, needs fuel for production. You can't have something from nothing. It has been said many times that ideas are a dime a dozen, but remember that the idea you have and don't use are no more effective than the ideas you have never had and can't use. It is a well-known fact to people who have keen imaginations that their best ideas come through so-called hunches. It is believed that the most fortunate people on earth are those who have found an idea that's bigger than they are, that fills their lives with constant interest, challenge, and struggle. It is virtually impossible to keep exposing your mind to great ideas without having those ideas expressed in your physical world. Moreover, it is probably only one idea you need to make the difference in your life. It's a good idea, and we use our imagination to always strive for simplicity to avoid the complicated. Labor gives birth to ideas. Life is too short to be little. You must enlarge your imagination of yourself and act on it. Live out your imagination, not your history. Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. Man's mind, once stretched to buy a new idea, never regains its original dimensions. Many people note that their most valuable ideas and their most loving acts are born in moments of silence. New ideas like seedlings must be well watered if they are to survive. No matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. 
Nothing in this world is so powerful as an idea whose time has come. Nothing is more powerful for your future than being a gatherer of good ideas and information. That's called doing your homework. One sound idea is all that one needs to achieve success. Only in men's imagination does every truth find an effective and undeniable existence. Imagination, not invention, is a supreme master of art as of life. Pure mathematics is, in its way, the poetry of logical ideas. Remain confident that through continued reliance on your imagination, your assumptions are materializing into reality. Success is the prize for those who stand true to their ideas. Success is the prize for those who stand true to their ideas. The breaks you need in life wait within your imagination. The imagination is man's power over nature. The man who has no imagination has no wings. The next revolution is going to be a revolution of ideas. The only limit to what you can have in your life is the size of your imagination and the level of your commitment to making it real. The power of imagination is incredible. Often we see athletes achieving unbelievable results and wonder how they did it. One of the tools they use is visualization or mental imagery. They made the choice to create their destinies and visualize their achievements before they ultimately succeeded. The power of imagination makes us infinite. The profit of great ideas comes when you turn them into reality. The world stands in need of the men who will use their imaginations. There is nothing in this world of less value than an idea about which nothing is done. There is plenty of time to argue with the new ideas later. The key is to take careful notes first and debate second. Turn the great energy of your thinking toward plenty ideas and you will have plenty. We are what we are and where we are because we have first imagined it. When 99% of people doubt your idea, you're either gravely wrong or you're about to make history. When a new idea comes our way, we must put it in our mental scales and weigh it carefully before deciding its value. You cannot depend on your eyes when your imagination is out of focus. You don't get paid for having ideas, you get paid for making them happen. You need imagination in order to imagine a future that doesn't exist. Your future will become limited only by your imagination. And that's a wrap on 50 Words to Your Dreams, Chapter 10, Ideas. Let me know your thoughts on Chapter 10. And if you need some accountability in your life, connect with me for a free coaching session at coaching at bestbookbits.com. For hundreds of video, written, and audio book summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com. Stay tuned for Chapter 11 in the series, Mind. Thanks for watching and listening, and have yourself an amazing day. Take care.